Hi! Today I have some hot rollers to show you. I'm going to be telling you all about the Tower of Power. These are actually tapered hot rollers. Pretty fun! Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe and keep watching if you want to see how this baby works. Okay, so here is the Tower of Power. This thing is a bit ginormous. Pull it out like this and it's got this plastic case cover on it, but you have to take that off. If this is on, it has an auto shut off thing so that this doesn't melt. So just make sure that you have it on a nice flat surface because you don't want this thing to fall over. It does get very hot. It's got an on off button right here and then the little light lights up. It says for fine hair, medium hair, or thick hair. I have thick hair. Okay, so now that these are heated up nice and hot, it really only takes a couple of minutes. It doesn't take that long. You have three different sizes. There's small, medium, and large. And it's got this nice little handle up here and then it rotates like this. So, you know, you're working on your large ones and then you want to turn it around and do the small or medium, you know. So anyway, it rotates, which is nice. I'm gonna start by doing the small ones around my face, and I'm going to curl everything away from my face. So I'm gonna start with this, wrapping this around the wider side, and then going down to the skinny side with the end of my hair. Make sure I get all those little bits tucked in there. Wrap it up, and then use the clip. <laughs> So I'm doing it so that the fat part of the curl is at the top of my head and the skinny part of the curl is at the ends. You can switch it around if you want, it just kind of depends on what sort of a look you're going for. I find that, especially with short hair, it looks a little crazy if you start with the tighter curls at the top, it just ends up sticking straight out, which isn't a good look on me. It's all a matter of preference. I think maybe if you have longer hair it'll look better. And I like to hold it just a little bit away from my head so that I have some room to then curl it in like this and I find that that way the thicker part of my hair helps hold in the small little end pieces. It's so nice that the clips are heated too because especially with my short hair it helps hold everything in and you know that that part of your hair is getting curled as well. Okay so I still have some end bits so I'm just going to curl those with a regular curling iron and then when I pull all of it out if I have any you know crazy bits I can just fix those up with a regular curling iron. So yes, I'm using two tools, but for the most part, everything will be curled with the hot rollers. So while I've got these in my head cooling down, uh, I'm just gonna talk to you about the pros and cons of this. So pros are that it has the cool tapered conical style. I love that there are three different sizes. I love that the clips are heated. I think that even though this is ginormous, it has, you know, it has the handle, you can rotate it. It's actually, you know, a pretty cool thing. I love that it has the different heat settings. I think that that is awesome. I do wish that there was some sort of an indication that the rollers were hot because, you know, a lot of times they'll have like a little dot that turns white when it's hot or something like that. This doesn't have that. You just kind of have to guess. I have noticed that I do sometimes get crimping from the clips. It is easily fixable with just a regular curling iron, you know, just hold it on there and kind of straighten that out. It hasn't been too big of a deal. The curls do last, you know, a good long while as much as any hot rollers do. There's nothing unique about that. I think mostly it's just the design of it, you know, the heated clips and the tapered barrel is unique. Uh, I've never seen any other hot rollers like that and I really Really like it. I do wish that there were more rollers. You can do your whole head, but it's just a little more difficult. Um, for me, I have a lot of hair and I can do just one half of my head with all 12 rollers. <laughs> but you know, like right now, I, I didn't actually even use two of them. I left the back short little bits out and just curled those with a regular curling iron. I just curled them under. You do want to wait until they are completely cool before taking them out and that way the curl will last longer. If you like using hot rollers, I think that this is a cool set. Originally they are $200, but I have seen them online for like 60. So definitely shop around because you can get them them at a greatly discounted rate. I'm gonna go ahead and take these out. Okay, so you can see it right here. See that crimp right there? Ooh, what a cute little curl. Okay, so there it is. Those are the curls. So definitely some crimping where the clips go. 
I don't know if there's a better way to do it so that it doesn't crease quite so much. I don't know. Maybe if you put it on a little differently. I'm not sure. But, you know, you can see I do get great curls from this. Ah, oh, this is totally wonky. I think I did a bad job of wrapping them in there. <laughs> it's super bouncy and curly. You know, I mean, it has its drawbacks, of course, but overall, I do think that it's a neat and interesting set. Would I pay $200 for it? No, probably not, but I'm kind of cheap. Would I pay 60? Yeah, maybe, if you were really into hot rollers. So anyway, that is the Tower of Power Curls. Kind of fun and interesting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!